This country was home to one of Africa's greatest empires. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at Mali, a nation steeped in the grandeur of the Mali Empire, known for its remarkable wealth and iconic rulers like Mansa Musa. Join us and stay to the end to uncover this country's geography, people, food, history and more. The West African country of Mali is a landlocked nation that stretches from the Sahara Desert in the north to the savannas in the south. Mali borders seven countries and has a varied geography featuring deserts, grasslands, mountains and forests that impact the country's economy and society. The northern two-thirds of Mali consists of the vast Sahara Desert, along with flat to rolling plains. This desert region is hot, arid and unsuitable for agriculture. The only major city in northern Mali is Timbuktu, located near the Niger River. Niger River forms a boomerang shape through Mali and serves as a lifeline for transportation, irrigation, fishing and hydropower. South of the Sahara region is the semi-arid Sahelian zone, which transitions into the fertile Sudanian savanna in southern Mali. The southwest contains plateaus and highlands. Mount Homburi in central Mali is the highest point in the country. Mali can be divided into three main geographic and cultural regions. Northern Mali consists of the Sahara Desert, and is sparsely populated by nomadic Tuareg and Arab groups. Central Mali transitions between the desert and savanna and contains important cities like Mopti and Segu along the Niger River, as well as Dogon villages famous for their architecture. Southern Mali has wetter savannas and forests that enable agriculture, livestock, and higher population densities in cities like Bamako, the capital and largest city. The inner Niger Delta near Mopti floods in the rainy season, providing fertile soil for rice cultivation. Mali is home to a diverse mix of ethnic groups who speak a variety of languages and practice different religions. Its population is around 22 million, according to World Bank data. The main ethnic groups in Mali include the Bambara, Fulani, Songhai, Tuareg and Soninka peoples. The Bambara are the largest group, making up around 33% of the population and dominate the central region. The Fulani people are traditionally nomadic herders and the second largest group. The Songhai people live along the Niger River. The Tuareg and Soninka peoples inhabit northern and western Mali respectively. Other smaller minority groups include the Dogon, Bozo and Moor peoples. French is the official language used in schools, government and business. However, over 40 native languages and dialects are spoken. Bambara is the most widely spoken language and used as a common language between different groups. Other major languages include Pul, Dogon, Soninka, Songhai, Senufo and Tuareg, dialects like Tamashek. Most Malians speak their ethnic group's language in addition to French and Bambara. The majority of Malians are Muslim, comprising about 90% of the population. Islam reached the Mali Empire as early as the 12th century and remains dominant today. Christians make up 5% of the population, mostly Catholics. Traditional animist beliefs are still practiced among some ethnic groups. Mali's cuisine reflects the country's ethnic diversity with Arabic, French and African influences. Staple ingredients like millet, rice, peanuts and local vegetables and spices are combined in delicious dishes. Here are a few highlights of Malian food. This peanut butter sauce is served over millet cakes or rice, the hearty nutty sauce made from peanut butter, tomatoes, garlic and spices provides protein. It's a staple street food in southern Mali, a French-influenced baked fish dish 
often made with Nile perch from the Niger River. The whole fish is stuffed with a spicy paste called sangha, made from tomatoes, ginger and red chilies for a unique blend of African and European flavors. This popular chicken dish likely originated from Senegal and combines African and French techniques. Chicken is marinated in lemon juice, mustard and onions, then sautéed in oil and served over plain rice. Poulet yassa has a tangy, garlicky flavor. A celebratory rice dish cooked in meat broth with tomato paste and baobab leaf added near the end. Common additions are beef, sheep or goat meat. The baobab leaf gives the rich, savory rice a unique earthy flavor. Strategically located near the Niger River, Malian cities connected West Africa and facilitated the spread of Islam across the region. The Niger River and the Sahara Desert have shaped Mali for thousands of years as both a trading crossroads and a barrier to outsiders. The ancient Bura culture emerged around 300 BCE in central Mali and later the Ghana Empire flourished from the 8th to 11th centuries CE in the southwest. Both controlled Saharan trade routes for gold, salt and kola nuts. The introduction of the camel enabled trans-Saharan trade to expand greatly. The Mali Empire rose to prominence in the 13th century CE led by the legendary king Sundiata Keita. It expanded control throughout West Africa by 1400 CE, aided by gold wealth, robust trade and agriculture. The famous Emperor Mansa Musa put Mali on European maps after his fabled pilgrimage to Mecca. Centers like Timbuktu and Gao became renowned centers of wealth, culture and Islamic education. Mali fell into decline by the 15th century due to civil wars and invasions. In the late 1800s, French colonists seized the Senegalese city of Saint-Louis, expanding inland to conquer Mali by 1898. Mali was exploited as part of French Sudan for resources like peanuts and cotton. Resistance to French rule gradually grew until the 1950s, they gained independence from France in 1960, led by Modibo Keita. His socialist regime was overthrown in a 1968 coup, starting an era of military dictatorships. In the 1990s, Mali transitioned to democracy, but still faces security threats. The Tuareg rebellion began in 2012, leading to a coup and Islamist occupation of the north until France helped retake the territory. Mali is one of the poorest countries in the world, with much of the population dependent on farming and fishing. Its GDP is around $18 billion according to World Bank data. Agriculture employs about 80% of Malians and contributes around 40% of GDP. Subsistence farming of crops like millet, sorghum, rice, corn, vegetables and cotton dominates the rural economy. However, productivity is low due to small plots, minimal technology and recurrent drought. Fishing along the Niger River and raising livestock, especially cattle, are also important economic activities. The industrial sector accounts for only 20% of Mali's GDP. Gold mining is one major industry and Mali is Africa's third largest gold producer. Light industry includes food processing, construction and textiles. The service sector is growing, representing 40% of GDP, especially telecommunications and financial services. Tourism based on festivals, music and historic sites like Timbuktu is also developing. Mali's main exports are gold, livestock and cotton. It belongs to the West African Economic and Monetary Union with shared currency and trade policies. China is their largest trading partner with other major partners including Senegal, Ivory Coast and France. To encourage investment, Mali has undergone privatization and reforms to strengthen property rights, although corruption remains an issue. Mali has a rich cultural heritage that is deeply rooted in its history 
as a crossroads of trade and empires in West Africa. Mali has a strong literary tradition dating back to the 13th century. Epic stories such as Sundiata Keita were passed down orally for generations before being written by griots or storytellers. The ancient city of Timbuktu became a center of book production and Islamic scholarship. Libraries in Timbuktu still contain hundreds of thousands of manuscripts covering diverse subjects from Quranic exegesis to science, poetry and history. Mali is known as a musical crossroads and has produced world-famous artists. The Kora, a traditional 21-string harp, provides rhythmic accompaniment to griot's storytelling. Popular styles include the bluesy Songhai music of the Niger River region and energetic dance rhythms from the southwest. Salif Keita blended traditional sounds with rock and Afro-pop, while Ali Fakature helped popularize the uniquely Malian blues genre. Music and dance play a central role in Mali's cultural festivals. The Festival Le Désert brings nomadic Tuareg musicians together near Timbuktu. Meanwhile, Festival sur le Niger in Segou showcases Bambara and Pearl culture. Masked dancers perform at the Dogon Ritual Festival of Dama in villages like Sanga. These celebrations affirm Mali's ethnic diversity and cultural heritage for new generations. If you enjoyed this video on Mali, you'll love this next one.